Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, LaSalle Nungu. This is five reasons why Humble won't succeed, in my opinion. Now, with that being said, this is a re-upload because in my initial upload of the video, I mistakenly called the company Bumble in the first slide of the PowerPoint. That's my mistake and kind of what happens when you make videos at three in the morning. With that being said, let's cut into the action here and get to the meat and potatoes of the video. So uh, first and foremost, I am not a financial advisor, right? Registered in any state or jurisdiction. I disclaim all liability in the event of any information, commentary, analysis, opinions, or recommendation proved to be inaccurate, incomplete, or unreliable, or result in any investment losses. So before investing in the stock market, please consult a licensed professional to determine what strategy may be best for your individual needs. This video is not intended to be a recommendation to buy, sell, or hold any security. This is simply entertainment only, right? So do your own due diligence. Now, starting with number five, who is George A. Sharp and what is his real involvement? This is a gentleman that uh, in my prior history of trading OTC markets, his name has come up frequently and he has left uh, in what I have noticed to be a trail of tears. So every time I see this gentleman involved, my ears perk up, ladies and gentlemen. And in fact, I wouldn't be making this video if it wasn't for the fact that he was involved. Uh, this is a man who has a very uh, extensive track record uh, in the OTC market space. Uh, supposedly, he is someone who has been a consultant for OTC markets in the past. Uh, very, in my opinion, shady behavior in regards to his involvement with some of the companies. Uh, again, a quick, uh, you know, dig into uh, Twitter, you will quickly find some, you know, many, many uh, affected investors who were left with a very, very bad taste in their mouth doing business uh, with this gentleman. So. Uh, it's, it's very interesting, and I'd love to hear more from Bumble about what his real involvement in is, is in the company. Was he given any shares? Does he have an official title with the company? You know, those are things I think we need to know because this is a gentleman who I can't say that in my short uh, research that I was able to find, you know, any track record of, of really any kind of success in regards to um, you know a company coming in and being better when he got involved and he then left I, I just I didn't see that so I'd love to hear what uh, Bumble has to say about that yeah here's another set of messages that were left on Twitter uh, regards regarding uh, GRDO another company that he was involved in previously uh, that uh, this particular gentleman or, or woman was making reference to. Uh, he did, George uh, A. Sharp mentioned that he would never be involved with a company that wipes out shareholders through a reverse split. But again, I was able to dig up information that showed that he was either a CEO or an important director at this company, GRDO, where a short split was in fact enacted and you know, hundreds of millions of shares uh, were wiped out. Number four, lack of proprietary solutions. Uh, we've heard Humble, uh, the CEO, mention that some of the employees are working for free and some of them are working just for stock. Uh, I suspect that well over 50%, well over 50% of the staff, executive staff, and also designers and coders may be working for free or working for that stock, just as he said. How much of a white label company is Humble? You know, how much of, you know, what is Humble is made up of, you know, software that was already created and is being sold uh, to us as the Humble platform that is also available on many other payment platforms. In fact, if you do a simple Google search, you'll see there are literally dozens of uh, wallets available, white label wallets, white label payment processors available for anyone to simply 
you know, purchase, create a app around them, put slap a logo on there and call it, you know, the newest, biggest thing. So how much of humble is humble and how much is it some company out there that's simply selling a business in a box? What unique technology does humble really own? We do not know. And that's been the biggest problem around this company is really the lack of transparency. Uh, the lack of financial transparency is what I'll talk about next year on number three. You know, where did the money they have right now come from? You know, what sources were placed into the company in order to it to get to where it is right now? Who has been promised what and at what price? What has the company earned so far? How much does the CEO earn? You know, these are basic questions that, you know, we can't answer right now. And what we've seen is a company that's ran up thousands of percent. And yet, you know, a basic question like how much does the CEO earn? We can't answer. And no one has been able to answer uh, with now the company possibly on the brink of going uh, up or uplisting rather to the NASDAQ. If that ever becomes a possibility, which, uh, again, in a later video, I, I sincerely doubt will take place. But. In a later video, I hope I will harp on uh, number two, the current valuation. You look, folks, we got to be honest with you. That reverse split was a disaster. And another reason why I'm making this video, because at the price and the number of shares that were outstanding previously, I would never have thought to short the stock at that time. Uh, many people did, and they were destroyed by the reverse split. But this has been a blessing folks the fact that they enacted the, ver the reverse split and now are going to be opening up on monday with a valuation that could be higher higher than paypal folks this is insane and let's talk about paypal for a second here let's talk about recent earnings by paypal q4 16 million new customers within the quarter over 50 million new accounts uh, projected by management to be expected in 2021, $4.7 billion in cash on hand right now with PayPal. And understand that Humble will likely open up more valuable than PayPal. A company, Humble, that I would project doesn't even have, doesn't even have a thousand paying com customers right now doesn't even have a thousand businesses attached to the platform right now. Folks, you want to talk about an opportunity to become a millionaire on the downside move. You know, this is, you know, something that reminds me of a trade that I made uh, a while ago, YECO, uh, PTOTF, many OTC stocks that I personally, or small cap NASDAQ stocks that I've bet against and made quite a bit of money I, i'm salivating at this opportunity i don't think this is a straight down play although that's what i would love to see uh, i i believe that the social media hype around this might be a bit too strong uh, for you to go in with a full position right away you know we got to see how this plays out over the next couple of days but what i can tell you and from listening to uh, what management has been saying what other YouTubers that are, by the way, putting out content literally hour by the hour on the stock. Uh, we've got a long way to go from when the app is actually dropped to when the ticker actually changes. There's a lot to be, you know, there's a lot that has to happen before then. And there's a lot of what I would say is dead air until that time. So how does the stock, you know, stay up? for you know 30 32 or whatever days until we get to that point that's going to be left to see number one and the last one on the list is social media expectations i think the social media expectations surrounding the stock are far too ambitious for what the company can do i you know there are so many people putting out content uh, about this company and what could likely happen here and they're going to be burned so badly. Uh, they're uh, people who are watching this and are investing aggressively are going to be burned 
so badly. And only those who have been trading the OTCs for a very long time uh, obviously know this. There are a lot of people who are salivating at cashing out, and they will cash out very quickly here, very quickly. The idea that's being perpetrated by some that this is a long-term stock, uh, let me tell you something, folks, that will be a disaster uh, if you even think about putting in long-term capital in this play. Uh, you know, with foreign customers, we've got to understand that there's limited earning potential here, right? The regulatory and compliance issues here alone uh, make it very unlikely for this business to succeed. And again, I do believe this is a white label product. I don't believe this is a proprietary product. So uh, let's not even get into the fact that there's state and national um, regulatory and compliance issues that need to be overcome. I I'm seeing, you know, some D-list celebrities also. I saw a popular member of a very uh, previously famous boy band uh, go ahead and, you know, prop up the stock in a Twitter uh, message. Uh, I'd love to see more information on insider holdings, how much is being held, and again, by who and by what price, at what price. Uh, the company's cash position. You know, if, if we get financials here in the next couple of weeks, which I believe, again, the stock would be much significantly lower into, uh, at that time, but when we get those financials, if we see anything less than $100 million, folks, this has got to be a stock that got to go all the way back to the pennies because with what they are saying they would like to do, it requires hundreds of millions of dollars. And if they don't have the cash to do it, then we're talking about a stock that should be trading at nowhere, uh, you know, higher than, than a nickel to, to seven cents a share folks at the current outstanding shares available. Uh, you know, this is a stock where time will expose all. You know, we have gotten to this point in Humble uh, because of, you know, the lack of transparency, because of hype, because of, you know, limited information. And now we're at the point where the information has got to come out. And what I suspect is that the information is not promising. It's not information that is uh, what would want you to put more money into this folks thank you so much for taking the time to watch uh, again uh, you know by the time you watch this the website will not be up but in the future if you are watching this the website is probably by, by that time up please subscribe to my newsletter and follow pumpanddumps.com for that if you like what you have heard so far please go ahead and click like subscribe to this channel there's a lot more coming and folks let's see let's see but the expectations here are huge until next time take care